Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we have some Need for Speed Payback news because the March update includes some very cool stuff. We got new cars, new events, and lots of great stuff, so let's get on with it. Okay, for new events, we've got the Castrol Edge Titanium Trials. So after completing multiple trials, you do actually end up winning the Castrol Edge Titanium Trial. These events automatically appear in your in-game map if you've got to Chapter 2, and it'll be visible to all players. The events are in Silver Canyon, Liberty Desert, and Mount Providence. Now, what you've all been waiting for, the new cars. So we've got the Pontiac Firebird, we've got the Aston Martin DB5, we do also have Eddie Skyline, which was in Need Speed 2015. And the best thing about that Eddie Skyline is that it is free to players that have played Need Speed 2015 and Need Speed Payback. You're being gifted it, so we're getting a free car. It's going from level 299 to level 399, Let's just say, I don't have a car that quick on Need for Speed Payback, so I'm very gassed for that. Also, this update rolls out tomorrow, Tuesday, the 20th of March, so not long to go. But both the Pontiac Firebird and the Aston Martin DB5 are standalone purchases, so you do have to purchase it, which I don't... Mm, we're getting the Eddie Skyline for free, so not going to complain. But I don't know if I would actually use the Pontiac Firebird. I'd maybe use the Aston Martin DB5, but if it were free, I would use them, but I'm just not buying them because I know I won't use them enough. Now, bait crates. There's only one way to get to the destination by going through checkpoints and that, but a lot of people have not liked that, so they are actually removing the checkpoints when you're going to a bait crate doing that little challenge. The end point is still going to be there, but you can go any way you want. You, have, you don't have to follow a route, you don't have to go through checkpoints, so... If you think, oh, it's quicker going that way, you can go that way. They've also increased the spawn rate, and bait crates will now appear in a greater frequency across Fortune Valley. I don't think I do have any bait crates. I've not got that far into the game yet, or I just must be missing it then. Also, there's some all-drive activities. I missed this at the beginning, but there's drift zones, speed runs, speed traps, and jumps. They're all coming to all-drive, so you can do it with your friends, like... Get some tandeming going on along those drift sections. It's just making the multiplayer that little bit better. So that is the March update for Need for Speed Payback 2018, of course. I mean, it's not going to be any other year, is it? But yeah, we got the Eddie Skyline, and I did actually like that car in Need for Speed 2015, so I'm quite hyped about that. Also, there's probably going to be a new abandoned car tomorrow as well. I'll have a video on what car I think it will be out tonight as well. So three days this week, there's been two videos. I am a YouTube sensation. I, I'm not really. I'm nowhere near it. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new around here. And um, tell me if you're hyped for this update because it's quite a nice update. I am. So yeah, subscribe if you're new around here. Until next time, guys. Peace out. But I already know I'm gonna get it.